So I came across this article and I thought I'd make a video about it. True social, the failure anti-Twitter platform even Trump barely uses. So Trump is the main attraction of True Social. The only reason why people use True Social is because of Trump. And I'll be honest with you, if you're using a social media platform just for one person, it will end up in failure. A true good social media platform will have a lot of celebrities on them. And uh, I don't know, like, do you guys see any big companies or like do you think do you see Elon Musk using True Social? Do you see um you know Justin Bieber, you know, all the celebrities, uh Chris Rock, Chris Tucker, um Will Smith with the slap <laughs> you know, do you guys see any of that? No. And most times social media is used to get information. Right? Like you go on there to like look at interesting news and see what people are ta what how people are chatting about it um so i i just don't see it succeeding i tried to get the uh, truth social in canada so i can do like a proper review on it but apparently it's not available for canada it's only available for people in the united states so that is kind of a disappointment and uh, they still got to launch it in the Google Play Store and on the internet website. And they're going to need a lot of money to put to bolster security because of uh, cyber warfare. A lot of people like hacking and, you know, destroying networks and stuff like that. And Donald Trump is a big target. And let's be honest, how many social media platforms are out there and how many failed? A lot. So I don't think uh, Donald Trump is going to succeed with this. That's my opinion. I could be wrong. You guys comment down below. Even Elon Musk, like Elon Musk, could just been like, "Hey, you know what? Let's not, you know, try to buy out Twitter for thirty-four billion dollars. Why don't he just like start up a SPAC company, start up a social media from scratch? Because it's hard. It's hard to do that. It's hard to attract." people to your social media platform and Elon knows that that's why he is wanting to acquire Twitter rather than do true social that's my opinion uh, so true social uh, number 19 on the social network right now it used to be number one and it dropped when I don't know what the lowest point is but right now it is at 19th so uh, and then you know what I also find kind of funny uh, you know, SPACs continue to gain po popularity as potential liquidity option for how many companies. A uh, merger process with a target company may be completed in as little as three to four months, which is substantially shorter than a typical IPO timeline. And DWAC has been, uh, has been uh, you know, October 22, let's say November when they started. This thing has been on the market for over almost six months now, uh, five months now, and no news of a, a merger. And can you imagine what kind of um, earnings True Social would have? You know, it, like you, you guys think like they're gonna be like, oh, we're showing a hundred million dollar profit. I don't even think so. I think maybe like a few million dollar pro uh, revenue. And then a huge amount of loss. I think when the merger comes up, uh, there's going to be a lot more shares. A lot more shares and short sellers can easily come in and short the stock with the float being a lot bigger than $30 million. And I think the stock is going to go all the way back down to penny ranges. Like $2, $3 in, you know, by the time the merger happens and give it like, I don't know, six months. I think we could see this thing at two or three dollars that's my opinion anyways thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this subscribe for future updates and have a great day bye